We've gone from one elephant bull to an elephant train of three little ones following mom in the row. Well, they probably all belong to her, but it seems as though she's looking after the kids this afternoon. And that actually doesn't surprise me. I think that there's a lot of babysitting duties that get passed on to the various adult cows. But I'm waiting for them to pop up on the road because I think that these three are going to be quite funny. There we go. Running after them, all tail and legs and trunk and ears. The one at the back has decided that it doesn't care for too many games now. Maybe it'll get a bit more rowdy when it sees its friend in the middle is up for some fun and games. How sweet are they? There it goes, a little bit of a speed wobble as it goes over the bump. They don't seem to have too much control when they're this age. They look fairly young, and the three of them actually look like they're around about the same age. We might find a month or a few weeks between each other, but we've been seeing lots and lots of little ones. So maybe, <laughs> Craig... Can I draw your attention away? Look at the squirrel that's just run in front of the car. It's just sitting over there. I have to show you. Hello, squirrel. Did you just come in to say hello and then you've been spotted? Now we're surrounded by elephants and we will catch up to those youngsters too. And I want to show you how close Craig is to an elephant right now. Look at this. Beautiful big Ellie cow with a glorious cloudy sky. It's actually quite nice, making for a very pretty picture feasting on grass at the moment though this grass doesn't look too tasty I think that young bull that we had earlier uh, definitely was winning with his tactic of going underneath all the shrubs and picking up the freshest of grass we have had some amazing luck and I think that this is the same herd of elephants we found this morning <laughs> now Tony you're wondering if that elephant oh there they are again Craig look at them Though these particular elephants that we're staring at, you were wondering if she had triplets. No, Tony, I don't think so at all. Like I said, I think um, two of the other moms are avoiding, well, chi a child, ugh, sorry, child minding um, sort of the, their job today. I think, they've, like I said, they've handed it on to one of the other cows. And, and she's doing a great time. She actually doesn't seem to be too bothered by them. She's just feeding and they're following her. But those three will be the best of friends. <laughs> and off they go. We'll try and get a little bit closer. There's just lots and lots of elephants around at the moment. And also, the squirrel is very funny. The squirrel actually keeps coming back. I'm wondering if it's going to pop out again. I don't know if it's maybe a young squirrel. It doesn't look particularly big, but you know what the behavior of squirrels is. Normally they... Uh, sorry, there's elephants pushing trees and things down, so it's just making sure we weren't in the way. So I think it might be a young squirrel, maybe a little bit inexperienced, because when they see the cars, the thing that they normally do is run in the opposite direction. We're not particularly close to a lodge, we're actually quite far away, so I don't really think it sees too many people, so for it to behave like that is actually quite interesting. But it seems to be gone. Okay, let's go down to our funny little friend. Oh no, there it is, there's a squirrel, it's just in the grass. See, it's come out on the road again. Look, here it is. Hello. You see, it doesn't look very big. Now, I know the, the squirrels are on particular, the tree squirrels aren't particularly large anyway. But look how close it's coming. See, I'm having trying to duck out of the way now. That is the closest the squirrel has ever come to me. I know it sounds completely bizarre, but this is really beautiful. Our sightings of them are normally really quick. Hello. What are you after? Are you waiting for the elephants to drop some dung and perhaps are you going to try and find some fruit that hasn't been eaten yet and it's gone again? <laughs> That's so funny. Right, let's carry on. Let's go a bit further. I want to find those three little naughty elephants. Well, they just look like they're going to be naughty, but I'm going to roll. I just need a bit of momentum here. I want to try and do this quietly. I don't want to make too much noise because there's another large cow in front here. Oh! There's a very angry elephant. The female just charging off into the distance. Can you see that, Craig? Look at her. Where are you off to? I don't know what's going <laughs> Head down on the ground. It looks like she's chasing something. I don't know what she'd possibly be chasing. These ones are now running too. What's wrong? What's wrong? Settle, settle around the cars. Not too quickly now. We haven't done anything, of course. They're reacting to something else. They're all moving forward. Hello. Don't be scared. A young girl, not surprised at her behavior. Where are you going? Look at them. What's gotten underneath your skin, elephants? Oh, I can hear rumbling now. One of the elephants definitely said something. 
I actually felt a strange vibration, uh, not quite a rumble, it was a different kind of a rumble. And as soon as that happened, they all started moving that way. But it's interesting, it's just those ones that are reacting like that. The rest of the elephants around us are still doing what they were doing, still feeding. They haven't even turned to look at them. That's really quite interesting. I do actually want to just remind the guides that I have an elephant sighting here if they want to come and join me. It's very nice. Let's go down here. We'll go quietly again. No, I think, I think the Torchwood Pride was found on Biffle's Hook or something like that. So it seems that's where all the guides are on their way to. So maybe they're not going to be interested in elephants. We are though. We're going to stay here for as long as they stay on the roads. Hi. And you see, they're not, like I said, so I thought, watching elephants run like this, I thought their behavior was going to change completely. I thought they would maybe be a, li a little less tolerant of the cars than what they normally are. But um, they don't seem to mind us at all. So I, I really don't know what to say as to what actually went wrong over them and why those elephants ran off like that. But we'll find out. They seem to be settling down quite nicely. Ali has uh, managed to change her luck slightly. She's getting there. She's found the most common antelope in Africa. And I'm sure it's a beautiful sight.